Hello, friends. Welcome to Drunk Book Club. Tonight, we have special guest star and art historian, Anthony. We will be reading Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. Let's begin. <laughs> You guys think Dan Brown's an actual good writer? I don't oh. think he's a good writer. I think he's a great writer. The first page begins with the word fact. This to book, the point. Pretty much every single scholar said nothing in this book is real. I don't know what scholar you talked to, but... There are chapters that basically last for less than a page. You want to keep reading for more than a page on that chapter? Sometimes when I read, I, just, I read to get to the next chapter like, yeah, and then I stop. Like, I want... It's full of crap. Can I just say that that's the illustrated version for three-year-olds? Macaroni is delicious. You know how delicious it is? Almost as delicious as this book was to my brain <laughs> when I read it. I'm going to be silent for the rest of the time. You guys Picture time! Picture time! She's modeling from H to T, as my friend Tyra says. Talking to Jesus, that's his skull. Love her. Jesus, yes, hey girl. He's very kind to the horse. That's offensive to Jesus, because Jesus married Mary Magdalene. According to Dan Brown, and now you're agreeing. Oh! oh! Biological oh. Origins? He urges? He... No, that's all the pictures. That's Keep going. Funny. Picture time, picture time, <laughs> next picture, here we go. And Mona Lisa. It's a very unfortunate looking woman. They all were back then. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Choking for joy at how good this book is. We're the most sober people in this group. Jesus probably had, had a wife. And how long sex was like. I mean, I'm not saying Jesus didn't have sex or didn't have a wife. I'm just saying the way it's presented in this book is highly illogical. Today's my birthday. They're both Catholic. Aren't we the religion he's contradicting, yet we agree with him? No. Oh. Let's do some confession right now. <laughs> confession to hey, Mary. I have so, a rosary. You want me to go get it? Please do. Really? People are still like fighting over this stupid book. Even though it's obviously poorly written and false in every single way, this like book is not worth the controversy. Right. The actual devout people hate it. Devout? Really? Are you? This last time we went to church. Yesterday. We have we have service like every day. Every what day. church do you go to? Church. I said I was an altar boy. I didn't say I, I was, was molested. I was an altar girl. Also I not was molested. An altar boy. Emily, I'm sorry if you watch this and your brother makes fun of you. She don't care. Eat my ice cream birthday cake, girl. <laughs> I hope you have IBS. Picture time, picture time. What did you picture. just say? The Divinci Code! We're I cracked it. Why don't <laughs> Once I stop spilling the martini, it means I don't really need to drink as much as It's like an ocean. Actually, there's probably more of all online. Yeah. Whip guy. Albino monkey. What's the whip guy's name? Cyrus. Cyrus? Billy Ray Cyrus. A serious Cyrus. Is oh, Andy Brady oh, Hart oh, was, was beautiful. Was laying it at my wedding. Silas. Who is right? Who Silas. 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 Like a speech impediment could easily sound like Cyrus. Okay. Bio is not a race, my friend. It's it is a, a genetic disease. mutation. Yeah. Recessive. It's not a disease. I didn't Recessive. say that. You just said disease. Prove it. It's a, a genetic. Da Vinci, he was gay and Illuminati, according to Dan Brown. Like, he hit a lot of Illuminati is an angels and demons. <laughs> just, I know it keeps spilling on you, but you occupational hazard. I love things. being in a splash zone. That's why I worked at a water park. I love water sports. And by that he means swimming in crew. <laughs> and people peeing on him as well. That's not what <laughs> That's, he means. I think That's, the viewers care less than I do on any. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You know what? I Let's care. Let's just flip some pages. I care. Oh, that's gross. Sexy shapes. shapes. Let's think about that. We're done. We're done thinking about it. On Drunk Book Club. No yeah. one participated. <laughs> Come on, you guys. One, two, three. Writing some backwards in a mirror. Da Vinci. Beautiful. Code. Beautiful. I am a guest on this show. <laughs> Treat me with respect. Sassy. None of our guests are coming back. Let's read the Da Vinci Code. Okay. <laughs> I hate this book. Well, I, I kind of like it. And we're like, alright, well, to each their own, you know? You win some, you lose some. Are you almost done? Picture time. Picture time! I, 
pubic triangle, also known as the vagina. I love this book. I have no more out of five martini glasses, how many would you give the Da Vinci Code? I'm gonna give it three. I'm super into it. I like thinking about Jesus. Who doesn't? Having fun. Ah, I'd give it like one of these, but that's a lot. Love yeah. it. It was interesting. Dan Brown, you're stupid, but you tried. A for effort. Half a martini glass. Dan Brown writes like he is drunk, blind, and upside down. What's wrong with that? Can you imagine if you realized that Jesus Christ's children were among you, but they were French? His children should have been Jews. Ew, they're so ugly though. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, drunk Taylor Swift.